do a Costco run right now. And my daughter Alyssa's with me, so she's gonna try to help film. There we go. Can you see me? <laughs> right, we're gonna have to put it down at some time so it's not so obnoxious. Right? Someone said it has been over 20 years since I could afford Costco. <laughs> Sorry to hear that. at certain times. Because people don't want to be recorded. On your Costco cart here. Do you have a cart too? Yeah. You're in the keto, right? Yeah. Cardboard? Yeah, but kind of both. Sausage. I really want sausage. Nine. What are we getting, Melissa? I want sausage <laughs> and, and eggs and cheese. We need cheese. Ground beef. Pericle butter. What do we want, Sammy? This is where I get my fr sugar free bacon. You know the sugar. Alright, here we go. Are you going to be able to keep up with me? If you don't run. <laughs> here, get, get a fire away shot for a little bit. Have you walking? <laughs> Someone said Alyssa better get her sausage. That's right. Ooh. Oh, what the heck? We're here to get we're here to get carnival meat. <laughs> All the fun stuff's coming out. It's finally getting warm out. Aren't you excited, Alyssa? Oh, hi, Katie. <laughs> Katie's on there? Yeah, she said, bro, Alyssa better get her bacon. Then she said, bro, that's Katie, your sister. Katie, Katie did two <laughs> videos. She did her keto 30-day update video, and she did her um, dogs eating carnivore video. Ooh, we gotta go on this house. Katie, do you want anything? <laughs> This is the grill that we should have bought instead of the one I got. I need a I need to buy a printer. Is there people on there? Yeah, Katie. Okay. Everyone keeps talking. He said, I wonder if anyone will tell you that you are not allowed to video in the store. If they do, we're in Oh shoot. I didn't know you weren't allowed. I think you're allowed to. <laughs> you're just holding it in the ground. I'm holding it like All at right, the cart. Look, sure, we're at the best part now. That lane works here. I know. Yeah. Because. Yeah. Oh, there's so many people by the meat. Just try to get a good shot. Okay, Katie. Here. Rib steaks or ribeye? These ones look good. Lady on camera. We all, we, Mom said that we need to get more chicken for the dogs because there is none. They want to ask how much is the ground beef? $24. How much is the other stuff? 
fourteen dollars a pound. Six dollars a pound. This is the beef stew meat that I get. I put it in. I sear it in beef tallow and then I cook it in a slow cooker. It's fantastic. and everyone says it's so expensive, but this is all we eat. This is it. There's no bread, there's no buns, there's no ketchup, mustard, sauce, dessert, potato chips, popcorn, Starbucks. This is it. This is my new favorite too, by the way. Ground beef with that uh, Malden sea salt. Right? See that? We don't want that. That's farm raised. Look, touch the eyeball. That's gross. That's fresh. Right here. Wild. You want wild, not farmed. That's what Bill not taught me anyway. This is for my daughter, Lily. This is for me. And Alyssa, this is for Lily. We gotta get, we and gotta, Emma. We gotta get chicken for the chicken for the, day. Chicken for the uh, dogs. Yeah. Those are drumsticks. Those are all breasts. Chicken thighs right here. No, that's definitely not it. It's probably on the other side. I'm gonna go around that way. Just go from there. Get a nice cinematic shot. <laughs> People want to know if they have good burger patties here. Yes, we'll show you the burger patties in a second. We have a lot at home. This is going to be an expensive run because we're getting dog food for like a month. This is going to be a month's worth of dog food. I think this is on sale. Well, we got it for way cheaper than this. We got it for a dollar before. People are going to be like, oh, it must be nice. Oh, Robin's on there. It's like a month's worth of dog food. I'm aiming it at the thing. What else, what else do we need? Turkey. Sausage. Twenty-one bucks. This is Lily's favorite, and she's gonna slice it with the slicer. And she wanted cheese to go in. My buddy Jeff Acosta taught me this. Prosciutto. Look at the ingredients. Where does it say the ingredients? Right there. Pork, sea salt. Pork and salt. It's like a piece of ham. You can just eat it. You can eat it in the car. It's delicious. Oh, cheese. I can't eat it in the car because I'm doing lion diet right now. Day 12 lion diet. What, is it? what else do you want? Sausage. <laughs> but I don't know where they are. Did you get some more of this cheese? Did you guys eat any of this cheese? Yeah, it's all gone. Which one? The block I got? Oh, not the block. No, we didn't. There's still half of that. String cheese. You're eating the string cheese. No, we cheese. have string cheese in there too. That looks so weird. And sausage. <laughs> I'm not going to give up on it. What kind of sausage? You know the sausage like, yeah. No, no, no. Like actual sausage you can cook for like eggs. Two 
282. <laughs> Hi. That's crazy. Someone said, hey, how about getting sausage? Because I've said it like we're 10 times. Get, I've said it like 20 times. Like, keep, you gotta hold it up. It's awkward. You need more chicken wings? Show me your favorite thing to eat. Oh, chicken wings. Oh, they're right there, yeah. Those are so good. Ten pounds, twenty-two bucks. This is delicious. One of Alyssa's favorite carnivore foods. The legs are the, not the good kind, though. <laughs> yeah, I think so. I don't want to get people on camera. Oh yeah, they're right there. You got the regular burger patties and then the grass fed. These are more expensive, $4.79 a pound. These are fantastic. The girls love these. And the girls, myself too, we'll make these in the air fryer. You can throw four of these in the air fryer, but now that it's summer, we got a grill, you can take them out, put them on the grill. $4.79 a pound, grass fed beef patties. This is a five pound bag. It's 20% fat too, so it's got decent fat. Now we gotta get And sausage. <laughs> No, we, I think we should leave a comment if we should skip the sausage. No, I want it bad. What I was thinking chips? of doing. Get some chips? No, I was thinking oh, of doing yeah, sausage and, and egg on top. Here's more cheese. Do you yeah. need cheese more? Uh, uh, yeah, that bag. Did I, did I just grab it? Not that one. There's a little oh, less. Oh, right, 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 right. Some of the girls still eat cheese. I don't like that cheese because they they put like wax on it or something. It's not good. Everyone's saying get sausage, so we're getting sausage. I think we'll skip the sausage. <laughs> no, I want it. That is definitely not cheese right there. Yeah, that is not. You want string cheese or we got lots of stuff? We have a lot of string cheese. <laughs> That's everything we have now. It's fully cooked bacon, you can eat that right in the car. Oh. So this is the tricky part. This bacon isn't 100% sweet. This is expensive. It's $4 a pound. Oh, that's good. Yeah, it's good. Oh, that's good. Oh, Zero carbs, but that doesn't mean there's no sugar in it. There still is a little bit of sugar in it. Cured with water, still has sugar sodium. There's a tiny bit of sugar in it. That's not bad. All right, that's everything. Let's go. Oh. Yeah, the ingredients in the sausage. It's you. It's you. Sugar, bleached white flour. That's not even real flour. Vegetable oil, soybean oil. It's like sugar, seed oils, sugar, 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 and carbohydrates. We used to feed that to you. Aren't you mad at us? Yeah, they were. They were pretty good. Not anymore though. Sorry. Fourteen dollars. Wait, where's the sausage? There's, I think it's over here. Here, wait. Should we? Should we? Could you imagine? Four hundred fifty-six. People. Look at this. Just this alone, you should be like, no, I'm out. See that whole grain oats? That's a starch. Starch turns into sugar in your body. The second ingredient is starch. Starch turns into sugar in your body. The third ingredient is sugar. So it's sugar, sugar, sugar. Those are the first three ingredients. Someone said poison. Poison, poison us. Plus, that was just uh, that was just on the news. Not only if you eat that, you're going to guaranteed to have glyphosate in your body, uh, pesticides, <laughs> forever chemicals, but also there's some chemical in Cheerios now and most oat products that cause fertility issues. You want to say something about those? I think those are actually keto. Everyone's saying sausage for your baby girl. <laughs> you see this? This makes me so <laughs> angry because when I used to do keto, I would try so hard and then I would gain all the weight back. And then I'd see something like this and I'd be like, 
Oh, it's keto friendly, then I can have it. This is garbage. If it's in a bag, it's not keto friendly. You see this? This is keto friendly. One ingredient, meat. Let's see if this has one ingredient in it. Look at Catalina flour, pea protein, potato fiber, non-GMO corn fiber, chicory root fiber, tapioca flour, high oleic sunflower oil, coconut oil. It's, that's not keto. That's a bunch of processed garbage. There's seed oils in there. You're going to get inflamed and you're going to feel like garbage afterwards. But you, you're, you're trying to do so good on keto and then you get confused from it. You go down that other aisle down there, Alyssa, there's just more right there. It's everywhere. Oh, you, yeah, you look at this, you're like, oh, look, no sugar. Oh, that must be good for you. It's only two, two grams of net carbs. And then you look at the back of it. What ingredients are in it? Sunflower seeds, pumpkin seeds, coconut oil, natural flour. Monk fruit extract, milk, tree nuts. It's actually got nine carbs in it, but then they say three with the fiber, and then they put all these fake sugars in there. Those fake sugars just tear your stomach up. They you get you inflamed, and they get you bloated, and they make you feel sick. All right, we gotta get back on track. We got pretty clean. Carbs Tell your before. dad we aren't gonna listen until he gets your sausage. There's no sausage. We're not getting sausage. I think the sausage is not with these. Wait, like actually? Yeah, it was like over on this side of one of these before. Oh. I love his passion. What do you got to say about that? Garbage. Garbage. <laughs> Garbage. Garbage. Look at right here. Oh, listen, we could oh take especially this. this. We could take this. Do you see this? We could take this and we could literally put it in the engine of our car and it'll lubricate our engine. And we think that's okay to put inside of our body. Poison. People are saying Kirkland butter is so good and cheaper than Kerrygold. Really? Mm-hmm. I like this one because it's got my name on it. <laughs> See, look, here's another thing that's really tricky. Some people are like, oh, olive oil's fine. It's so clean for you, right? It's so good. It'll usually say on it, the country of origin. I think it's right there. And that has two. I don't touch that stuff. Why are we not getting sausage? Everybody's I'm mad. Sausage. <laughs> I'm pretty sure it's down this aisle. Carrie, you are gold. <laughs> All right. Well, remember those? those? Sausage. The sauces? I remember those. I thought it was in a bag. Yeah, that's sounds... Oh, you're talking about those. Yeah. Like the egg and sausages. It's not Emma, it's Alyssa. <laughs> Here we go, 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 here we go. Oh, these sausages too? Just every sausage. Oh, come on. Put, put the star to show back on. Let's see. Right here. Oh, gosh. I used to get these <laughs> things too. More garbage. When I was keto, I used to get these almond pecan clusters. Look, it's only four grams of net carbs. Pumpkin seeds, pecans, cane sugar, brown rice syrup, coconut butter, erythritol, flax seeds, sea salt, and natural flavors. These used <laughs> to give me such a bad stomach ache. And you'd eat these and you'd be like, oh, they're four carbs. Yeah, that's for like one little tiny piece. There's no way you'd eat one little tiny piece of this. You'd eat a whole bunch of pieces. If it's not one ingredient, in my opinion, that's not keto. Seeds are for birds, not humans. Hi, guys. <laughs> I, I spell my name oh, like that. I think we're down here. I think we're down here. We're almost, we're almost there. The sausage that you want to get isn't uh, carnivore. I'm not talking about that sausage. I'm talking about sausage and eggs. Sausage? No, sausage and eggs. Like breakfast sausage? Yes. Hi. <laughs> Everyone's saying hi to me. <laughs> 579 people. Oh Yeah, you spelled my name right, too. See if we get a thousand people on here. Um, Alyssa will go on camera. If we get a thousand people, I'll show my face for one second. Ooh. These are not clean. These are not carnivore. I don't eat these. The girls that do keto, Alyssa eats these. Keto carnivore-ish. Oh, these good. These are good, though. It's got less than one gram of carbohydrates for two weeks. This 
is not carnivore proof, but it's a good transition if you're going from keto to carnivore. Lily eats these, so. It's good. We're getting sausage. Are they happy we're getting sausage? Yeah. Well, not that sausage. We still need the other sausage. Well, I've never bought other sausage other than summer sausage. No, like actual egg and bacon sausage. I've never got that from here. What do they recommend? Ask them. What do you guys recommend for sausage? Clean breakfast sausage here. I never get sausage. Yeah, like clean breakfast, keto kind of carnivore sausage. Hi, guys. Everyone's saying hi to me. I feel like a celebrity. Is this how it feels to be in your shoes? It's not easy. I don't have any kind of easy <laughs> I, Is it bad that I, I like looking at other people's parts and I'm like, yes, they're getting meat. I get real happy if they're getting meat. Is that bad? <laughs> oh, that's good. I don't, did they did they recommend any sausage? We never get. Yeah. Does anybody get sausage like keto oh, friendly gosh, kind you of? You want to see some garbage, some absolute garbage? You want me to go off for like an hour on this? No. <laughs> oh. <laughs> Johnsville sausage only has a few ingredients. You see that? Thank you. You see this orange juice right here? This stuff is absolute trash garbage. It's horrible for you. Do you guys know how orange juice works? I've been learning more about this. See that right there? It's pasteurized. That means they take oranges from juice and they boil it and that gets rid of any of the vitamins that were in there. Then they fortify it and they add them back on after the fact. There is almost as much sugar in orange juice as there is in a Coke or a Pepsi. People are like, I gotta have my orange juice for breakfast. It's watered down chemicals. All the vitamin D is removed from a drink, chocolate, or pasteurizing it. Then they add fake vitamin D back in that doesn't absorb into your body. Then there's enough sugar inside of it that you could have just drank a Coke or a Pepsi. But it's so good for you. Someone said, not anymore, Carrie Alyssa is the star of the show. It's That's curiosity, cool. her voice, will we get to see your face? <laughs> Look at that garbage. Look at all this garbage, Alyssa. Don't you feel bad? Oh, bye. Have fun at work. Alyssa sounds just like Emma, really. Could you imagine? You just buy it. Oh my gosh. Enriched macaroni wheat flour. It means it's, it's not even real flour. It's so ultra processed that they're not even using real flour. They have to talk this Oh, flour. people. There pe it is, right there. That's I'm not talking, talking about, about that. Oh, that's, what you that's good too. Did I just grab it? I don't know. Check what's in it. Two carbs. Beef, salt, corn syrup, solids. We're not getting that garbage. I don't know. I had all that in there. Well, this is what we should get. You want to do a sardine challenge? No. Ask them on there if they want to see you eat a sardine. A sardine challenge? These are skinless no. and boneless. They're in olive oil. Olive oil and salt and contains fish. <laughs> oh, shoot. I've never been a big fan of canned meats. Boneless and skinless salmon? No? All right, should we check out now? No, we don't have sausage. <laughs> Did they say what kind? Yeah, someone said Johnsville, I think. They don't have that. Either. A lot of people are saying to make it, too. Yeah, we'll make it. That's what we'll do. That's so much What else work. do we get? We got chicken for the dogs. We got the snacks. Yes, sardine challenge. Sardines are fire. Do you need any, um... Oh, that's it right there. Guys, <laughs> listen. Alyssa. If I were to um, ever fall off the carnivore wagon, which is never going to happen, what would I eat, Alyssa? I <laughs> No? No? I remember when you asked the gatos. I used to eat these. I would just be like... <laughs> I would the whole yeah, box like the little off. box, yeah. Do we want to look at the ingredients in there? Or no. Nothing in there would be just complete process. All right, are we good? I uh, know I'm gonna want more. Oh, pre made sausage has a bunch of garbage ingredients. Okay, good to know. Should we check out ourselves? Yeah, all right, you're gonna have to chill with that for a minute. Go on the other side of me. Wait, okay, I'll, I'll hold the phone down a little. Don't look at my dirty shoes. Hi, hello. I see your photo upside down there. <laughs> Thank you. Sure. Looks like there's one open on the far end there for you. Okay, thank you. 
people want you to show more of the garbage food and what how they are. Really? Yeah. Don't leave. Keep showing the crap ingredients in the in the food. So maybe we'll, we'll keep them, we'll keep taking them with. Them. Yeah, we'll go next time. We'll show you our total. Oh, I gotta put my card in. Oh. I'm new here. Thank you. Everyone's saying I sound like Emma. Do I? I don't think I do. What do you think the total is going to be asking in the comments? Yeah, what do you think the total is going to be, guys, with all this food? Someone said $307.45. That's pretty cool. They're, they're very persistent on their $799, $420, dollars $420. A lot of people are guessing $420. Over $500. I'm not doing this job. <laughs> Well, I didn't think I sound like Emma. Okay, we'll try that one later. How long does this haul usually last? Is what people want to know. I don't know. It's hard to answer that question because we're topping some things off. Like, we already have a bunch of eggs. Oh, yeah. This the is eggs, too. Be the expensive part. Four thousand two forty two thousand and sixty nine dollars. Oh, this is all dog food. No, we shouldn't. Ask them if they want to watch us make dog food again. Or just like getting out. People are saying two eighty. Well, they, they already see it now. Oh, no, I haven't shown it. I don't think four hundred forty four. This one's missing a thing. Yeah, it's dog food. The chicken's dog food. For two dogs. And a cat. And a cat, but... Look, there's the big one. Okay, is that the last thing? No. Oh. It doesn't want to take this one. Come on. Is that mine? Is that mine that beeps? 809 people. We need a thousand and then Alyssa will go on. Uh. Alright, we're gonna need we're gonna need assistance. What, the chicken too? I'll stay here. This Look at the like what food. the carry gold butter. And then this one This one too is giving me issues. Okay. Yeah, it is good turkey. Yeah, yeah, if you want to double. How much was it? $380. Yeah, it's good. Yeah, it's good. I wonder who was the closest. We have two dogs. They're kind of not really heavy. People with dog food video. Did you give me my receipt? Oh, someone said 384. They were close. All right. Oh, wait, I should get. I should get out of bag. People are saying that's a really good price. Yeah, we give them the chicken raw. For the dog food, all we do is grind up the chicken and then give it to them and they love it. Wait, let me do one more thing here. What breed of dogs? Of what breed of dogs do we have? A black lab and a brown lab. Black lab and a dog brown. No, he doesn't care about the money. Someone said Carrie's upset about the money. I think he thinks that's a good price. No, they don't get diarrhea from the chicken. We're waiting for ice. I screwed up again. 
I'm not that good. I'm still learning how to use this whole system. They haven't fully trained me on how to operate oh, this thing yet. Oh, people are making it more money because we're getting that ice now. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> I just want a bag of ice, please. No, they don't. They like the chicken. They devour it. I think it was $3 for each chicken, but I'm not sure. Right That's here? it, yeah. Got it. Yeah, you. you try raw. Ours do raw. <laughs> we're gonna keep it. We're gonna keep it rolling out to the car. People are saying their dogs get food that they get sick when they cook the chicken. Really? I someone said I have so many questions. You can ask. Go ahead and ask them. Yeah, ask them. I, I, uh, people always ask me, do you feed the dogs raw? And I'm like, what do you think they do if they caught a squirrel in the wild? Would they cook it on a fire or would they just eat it bones and all and fur and everything? That's how we do it. We give it to them like they did in the wild. How much was the total? People are asking. Oh, we should go get pizza. No. Oh, what about ice cream? The total was, uh, three eighty one ninety nine plus. I think it was like 10. Price, oh, plus three twenty nine. People want you to go back and um, like go through the bad food. We should do another video on that. Yeah, they want to see you cook the chicken what too. What else do we gotta go? We gotta make another run. Should we just keep bringing them with all afternoon? <laughs> Let's just walk around with them. I gotta go to Target and grab some pork rinds. Oh, a little bit. Yeah, a lot of people were close. My dogs eat deer poop. That's weird. Yes. Thank you. Thank you. Oh, look at the dog. Show the dog. Show the dog. Aww, it's a little golden. Yeah. Oh, be careful. This is that just People are saying they love this. You should do it again. People are saying my dogs eat deer poop. <laughs> it's a free video. So let's not do the fast Three eighty one. It was like three fifty three. It's all meat though. It's all the good stuff. It's expensive. I know. It's Yeah, probably like a month. Bye, Robert. Enjoy your dinner. So heavy. Oh. Someone said Carrie did not forget the sausage. People are mad you forgot my sausage. <laughs> yeah, the carnivore thing. You always put the carnivore. Yeah. So it's like the talk about healing humanity. That's the least thing you can do to heal humanity. I don't have my license. stuff everywhere. <laughs> it's getting hot. It's nice out. It's like 70 out. Hi, Sandra.
These are for Alyssa. I don't eat these. I'm better than you, Alyssa. They're really good. Well, you've been on it for like a year. So Alyssa's keto carnivore. What's in the bag? It's just sausage, like little sausage sticks. It's Alyssa's keto treat. Yeah, they're really good. Emma's carnivore. Is Healing Humanity complete yet? No, he's still working on it. No, it'll be complete by the summer of next year, we hope. We're still filming individuals. Bill Nott is on month seven. So we couldn't possibly be completed because we're following Bill for one year. Mom left me this tank completely empty. Yeah, Dukes are good. I like them. I don't think we have enough gas to get across the street. What other questions do we have? Yeah, we're getting gas, Katie. She said, Alyssa, mom says get gas. We have no gas left. Alyssa, what do you want to do after this? Should we take? Should we just keep taking them with? I don't know, but I'm sweating. Do you need archery supplies? Oh, look, there's a bug. Isn't he a cutie? <laughs> no, we don't. We I don't love it how people else. in the parking lot, they, they like accelerate so hard and then they slam on their brakes. Carnivores don't get road Bill is kicking butt. Dukes are lifesavers for me. Yeah, you just got to be careful with the dukes. Yeah. I haven't had a, I haven't had one duke on carnivore. Next week, I'll be, I'll be one year on carnivore. On keto, I ate those dukes things all the time. My only issue with those was, I can't moderate. So I'd be like, I'm just gonna have four, and then, whoa, where did the whole bag go? The whole bag's gone. Yeah, I won't squish the stink bug, guys. Don't worry, he's we're, a friend. We're stopping at Costco gas station to get some gas now because Jen left me with a completely empty tank. I don't even know how we got here. What kind of meat grinder do you use for the chicken? A lot of people ask that. We use a, is it on order or is it just red? We use a Lem Big Bite 22. It's from a company called Lem, L-E-M. Now Alyssa, you're gonna have to talk to them while I get gas. A lot of people- Or well, you're gonna get gas. This person said, tell your dad to stop sucking in your gut. He's skinny guys, he's not sucking in. I'm not sucking it in. He's skinny. It's under, there's, that, that's my belt right there. All right. Here, okay. open your window more so you can you can aim it at yeah, the, yeah, yeah, yeah. the mirror. Yeah, look at this little guy. He's a cutie. I don't know what I should name him. I hope he sticks with us though. Emma. Hi, Emma. He's getting gas. She's smart for leaving the tank low. Yeah, she wanted him to pay for it. Listen, I don't know what I'm doing. Hi, Emma. It's a stink bug. I hope he doesn't jump at me. The stink bug is outside. He's our friend. Everyone's asking Emma questions now because she's on the live. Hi, Katie. I see you. You gotta aim it at a person. Or they're gonna get no, I'm aiming at the stink bug. Um, I don't want to aim it at you either because like the card. What's for dinner tonight? Everyone wants to know what the dinner is for tonight. Ribeye. Ribeye, of course. I had burger patties for lunch and ribeye for dinner. Oh, this stink bug is fine. No, I'm not gonna flick it. It's a, it's a, it's, it didn't do anything. Yeah, I, I won't close the window. I won't squish it. Oh, hi, mom. Melissa, talk about how you, how long you've been keto and what you're doing. Um, dad's. Yeah, mom, it's in your car. Um, don't worry, I won't, I won't push it anyone. Carrie, what pants size did you used to wear? I was in the 40s. I think I was 44 at one time. He said 44 at one time. Um, my dad said to talk about how I turned keto war and stuff. Well, eventually I just started gaining like a lot of weight, like really, really fast. And I decided, I'm 16, but I decided to like, I need to do something about it. My dad was like doing really, really good. All right, it's not working. My dad was doing really, really good on carnivore and he lost a lot of weight. So I decided that I should get on it and I lost about seven pounds now. So yeah. Yeah, the, I did that sticker. My sister did that. She put a, a sticker somewhere. He's back in the car. We didn't get gas because it wasn't working. 
It's making me angry. Did he scan his Costco card first? Yes, he tried to. He knows. People said, how tall is Carrie? And this girl answered for you. 5'10". Is that true? That's I think you're like 5'7", 5'8". You want to go? <laughs> I'm ketovore kind of, yes. I'm more into car uh, carnivore, though. I'm like leaning into keto carnivore. You're, you're keto or you're carnivore? Ketovore, mostly. There is no in-between. It's ketovore. Someone said that, too. Let's try this one. Yeah, I, I don't think he's 5'9". It yeah, he's pretty sh Yeah, mom, he's short. Not short, short, though. He's tall. This is, please remove her quickly. Slide the Costco card first, then slide the debit card, and you can get gas. I had to learn the same. Bye. Hope you have a good day. Yeah, I think we're going to do more of these when we go to Costco again. But I'm not sure when we will because we just got a lot of food for a while. <laughs> yeah mom we got a lot of chicken a lot of chicken yeah katie your headphones are in here Oh, thank you. Thank you. Yeah, I don't I'm trying to do keto, but I'm more getting into carnivore, but it's kind of hard to like go straight from eating like crap. Like I didn't eat crap crap, but I kind of just ate like not very good to eating, you know, like carnivore and stuff. So I'm kind of getting into keto first, like including these and stuff, but I'm trying not to eat vegetables and everything. I don't want to touch the bug. <laughs> Yes, life is good. Life is very good. The bug is a stink bug. I'm just showing it for now. Thank you. I am trying to go slow. I'm trying to get into it more, though. Yeah, I want to gain muscle, too. Get, like, fit. He's not doing anything, so I just don't want to push him. I think we're going to do another haul soon, but I'm not sure when. Oh, thank you, Mom. Tell your dad I said he looks cool. Yeah, I'll tell him. Don't worry. Alyssa, I'll super chat you $20 if you can get your dad to eat the stink bug. Okay, bet. When he comes in, I'll tell him. Yeah, I'm trying to eat a lot of fat. A lot of fat. <laughs> and I'll, uh, if I can get $20 to make him eat that, I definitely will try. That stink bug is carnivore. Yeah, he is. Um, everybody wants you to eat the stink bug. Everyone, everyone out there getting their gas was looking at me because I kept talking to myself. Is that unusual? Everyone wants you to eat the stink bug. I'm not eating the stink bug. Someone said they'll super chat me $20 if you do, so can you please just it's eat it? It would be more than $20 <laughs> for me to eat a stink bug. No, it would be me that gets the money, not you. <laughs> oh, that's not going to happen at all then. You eat the stink bug for $20. No, I'm not going to. Well, if I close it, he'll get stuck, so I don't want to do that. So Costco run, Alyssa and I, if you're just joining the stream right now, you can rewind and see. We just took you inside Oops. Costco. We got our normal stuff that we normally get. One of the big things I've been doing differently lately is I've been on lion diet for 12 days or so. Yeah. Um, what's so funny about that? Someone said you can get a couple of dukes with that 20 bucks. <laughs> no, I can get the sausage I wanted. I've been on lion diet for about 20 days. And one thing I've been doing more is more ground beef. I've always had ground beef, but I usually just go for the patties. But I've been getting the ground beef like that three pack I just showed you. I cook it on the cast iron skillet in beef towel. I leave most of the fat in there and eat the fat because <laughs> the fat's good for you. And then I add butter on at the end. And then I use Ooh. Malden 
salt that my buddy Adam taught me about. Once you're gonna, you're so, gonna witness a live stream. A lot of people, see. a lot of people are asking the difference between lion diet and carnivore diet, and someone said they'll give you a hundred. <laughs> I want half up front. He Is wants half up front. Yeah, he's in there. He's hanging on. Eh? He's hanging on. Um, what's the difference between lion and carnivore diet? Carnivore diet is all animal products. Beef, butter, bacon, eggs, fish, seafood. Lion diet is just ruminant animals. That means they have multi-chambered stomachs. For me, it's beef. Because you can have like lamb and any animal that has a multi-chambered stomach. The reason for that is because if you eat chicken or pig, they have one stomach, monogastric stomachs. So if you eat chicken and that chicken ate grain and that grain has garbage in it, <laughs> like pesticides and glyphosate and toxins and chemicals, you're gonna eat that chicken meat and you're gonna get some of those toxins in the meat. If you do that with beef, oh. if the cow eats grass and the grass has toxins in it, most of the toxins don't make it into that meat because they have a multi-chambered stomach and they're really good at getting most of that out of there. That's the theory anyways. What is so funny, Alyssa? Someone donated $200 and said, don't eat the bug. And then someone gave me $10 and said, for Alyssa. Sure $200 and not 200 Yeah, 200 like, pesos. DKK. That's something else. And someone gave me $10 and they said, for Alyssa, for at least trying to get him to eat the bug. Thank you so much. I really appreciate it. Thank you. Thank I can you so buy much. more food with it. I can get the sausage I wanted. Look, show them where we're at now. Thank you so much for the super chats. You guys want to yeah. go to Outdoor World with us or should Thank we end this now? Thank you guys. Thank you so much. Yeah, do you guys want to go in there with us? Big question of the day. What are we going to get from Outdoor World? Eat it for 100. <laughs> we gotta, we they gotta... want you to eat it. I said I need half up front. He wants there? half up front. Yeah, he's right Get him there. Out the window. <laughs> no, he's I'm inside tempted. of it. He's inside of it. I can't do it because I'm on I'm on a uh, lion diet. If I was carnivore, I'd do it. You can do it though, Alyssa. A lot of people want to go in, so yeah, we'll bring the camera in. Eat it for ten thousand dollars. Half up front, he'll do it. <laughs> what is going on today? We got some crazies on the live stream. Let me see this one. Okay, don't give me. Why is that light on? Is it supposed to be on? That's not the flashlight, is it? I think it's supposed to be on. It might just be a little dark. I'm, I can't close the window because he's in it. <laughs> what do I do? All I right, guess you gotta eat it. I'm trying to delicately close the window without. Wait, wait, him. go slow, go slow. Oh, no! <laughs> stop, 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 stop. Just take him off and eat I don't him. Wanna, you were just gonna eat I him. I, and I wasn't gonna eat him. You were gonna eat it. I can't move it. Just leave the window like that then. No, oh, you're gonna squish him. <laughs> yeah, we're we're gonna right, leave the we window. Go. We're leaving the window. the ten dollars and the 200 we appreciate it oh oh now we just hope and pray that nobody decides to open the back of their truck up someone said 200 dk ddk is 29 31 dollars thank you so much so for thank the you. super chats i know we're joking around but we really appreciate it <laughs> thank you so much all the yeah. super chats that go to the channel go to our documentary healing humanity even Alyssa's amount right Alyssa? yeah, <laughs> yeah. Hey, it's almost time to go kayaking again i can't wait no? No. Do you need anything from here? Or we just. What are we doing? <laughs> I don't know. You just came here. Look at that thing. Show that thing Oh, that's so cool. Oh, he waved. Oh, that was nice. Maybe. He might know you. This is a good story for Buy one boat. I don't know why we came. This is what I, this is what I need to complete my trifecta. I have Whoa. I have a I have a smoker and I have two egg grills and I have a propane grill. I don't have these yet. Get some Too archery much. stuff. Yeah. Are your hands burning? We live in Wisconsin. Why don't we grab a cart? This these are my favorite cherry. Cherry ribeyes, they actually come out and they look red after you're done smoking them. You smoke them low and slow, and then you sear them. People want you to look for decent food and snacks from here, I guess. We're not getting snacks, we're getting accessories. <laughs> this is what you want to have. People are saying the Wi Fi here is really bad and we're glitching. Is it glitching? Yeah. So I try to connect to the internet. Sorry guys, it's lagging. Sorry. I think it's just in here, like the walls. 
Oh, it's better now? See, this is a little too small. If you tried to grind meat for dog food in here, that would be too small. Ours is about this wide. That one's this wide, ours is this wide. That would be really hard to cut it up first. Bye, Mom. Love you. Yeah, that's too small, too. You really need a bigger one. Ours is big. It's like an industrial one. It's the big, like... If you get the small one, it'd just take a little longer. No, it's hard to shove the, shove the whole um, chicken thigh in with the bone. That's what we should have in the pool, so we can eat the meat that's in the Oh, that's so pretty. What other part were contacting the guy in the server? Here? I have no idea. You know what would be fun about the live To a meat grinder giveaway. <laughs> Can you pick me up some bubbly spring water? Liz said that. Liz from Oxford? Liz R, that's all it says. I have no idea who. It's Liz from Oxford, we got you. Oh. It's cute. It's not cute. <laughs> I think the internet's like not working. Get some cinematography. Everyone's telling me connect to the to the Wi-Fi. Should I do that quick? I don't think there's internet here guys sorry I tried to connect the internet it didn't work anyone else you can practice archery on that is that a thing look these are metal feel that Ooh. whoa it's, it's thick half inch. you hit it and it goes whoa you feel like because my finger is metal because I'm carnivore yeah do it with your finger it won't make a sound try it <laughs> Alyssa, I'll super chat you if you can get your dad to rip his shirt off and yell full ye man theme inside the store. Tell your dad to fix his posture. <laughs> we tell him that all the time, guys. Look. Wait, I don't think you can show that. I'm tenacious. This is different than that one. <laughs> I don't know, I think it's just because how it is. Does anyone know in the comments? Is that for a bow and arrow? Yeah, is that for a bow and arrow? Or is that for a gun? He is a good dad. We were here we were here last week and we bought that party. Oh yeah, we got that one. It's okay. Yeah. But I don't I don't think it would be the same one. Oh, really? Yeah, but mine's purple. Oh, shoot. This is Alyssa's compound bow. Yeah, mine's purple. It's so pretty. But you know what would be more fun? So no Yee Man theme song. <laughs> That's fun, but look at this. Could you imagine me with one of these? Yeah, we're trying to get the internet to work, but there's no internet here. Could you imagine me with one of these? No. I would not be happy. These are so dangerous. It's basically like a gun. We just got demonetized. We're showing across. Yeah, I don't think you should sell that. Look at all these. Sorry, guys. The quality is bad. There's no internet in here. All right, we got to get out of here anyway. We don't need anything, do we? <laughs> I don't think so. It's fun to look around. Those arrows are good. It's just fun to look around. He is a good dad, yes or no? Yes, he's a very good dad. He said his armpits stink. Sorry guys, we're leaving though. We're leaving so the play will be better. Yeah, he's a great dad. Look at the deers. How is it flying? Look, it's literally flying. It's flying. <laughs> People want to know your favorite water. What is it called? The e the one that you were talking about the other day? I like Fiji water and Evian water. Yeah, the Evian. It's a snob. I know, it's really expensive. Basically, any spring water is good. That was something I learned on Carnivore from my friends who just came to the theater again, Angie and Rebecca. I gave them some water, and they're like, oh, this is distilled water. I didn't know any better. Spring water is legit. Distilled water is gross if you look into it. It's basically like poop water that they remanufacture and sometimes they put bleach and garbage in it. If you can get spring water, it's pretty good. It's not even that expensive. We get our spring water from Woodman's. 
Where did you park, Alyssa? You parked. So we, do they want to keep going? How many people are on there? Should we just keep this 306. Going? Yeah, I think they want to keep going. Carrie is famous now. <laughs> Carrie's been famous. Someone said, did Carrie shower in the past year? <laughs> Can't wait for the documentary. How's it coming along? I think the, what if the bug is still there? Oh, the bug is there. The documentary is coming along fabulously. We filmed Bill Knott. We filmed Jeff to Prosperous. We filmed Maggie. We filmed Dr. Hampton in Chicago. We all went all the way down to Tennessee a couple weeks ago, filmed Dr. Ken Berry. Right now we have an editor working on The Torch, which is a 10 minute version of the documentary to update folks. We just had our Montello meetup, which was incredible. We had 135 seats and 135 seats were taken, although 135 people didn't show up, which I figured would happen because it was free, but it was a pretty full house and it was a lot of fun. We just did that. I got a video coming out tomorrow on that one. I was just editing that um, this morning. Oh, there's Woodman's right there. That's where we get some spring water from. Should we wrap this up? 444 people on. I don't think that you want you to leave. Should we just stay on? Stay on and take them home with us? Yeah, just keep talking about them. You better with plug them. this in before the phone dies. Evian water is bad. Is it? Tell me why. I, I like the taste of it. I almost think there's sugar or something in it because it tastes so good to me. Evian water or Fiji water I always get. It's ridiculously expensive though. But I consider it a splurge because again, I don't go to Starbucks and I don't drink soda and I don't drink beer. I just drink water, so I have a lot of excuses, but. Do a Q and A. People want to do a Q and A. Q and A, let's go. Yeah, Q and A, everybody. Questions for Alyssa. Or me, Is or that the bug still there? Yeah, the bug is still there. The bug is still there, so Alyssa might, might still eat the bug. I wouldn't eat it. For if we did a thousand I would do it. Here. No, 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 I would do it for $200. Oh my goodness. <laughs> Well, who wants to eat a bug for free? How would that even work? Someone's going to say, okay, I'll give you $200. Then you I eat would it. do half and half. Then you eat it and you're like, no, I'm I would good. do half and half. They give you the 100 and then you back up. Okay, people are asking questions. All right, shoot questions. How long did it take for you to feel the positive effects of carnivore? I started noticing the positive effects of carnivore very quickly, but it's different for everybody. And I was doing keto on and off for years before this. And I was in, I think I was in keto when I started carnivore yeah. so it happened for me very quickly i've said this before i stopped snoring right away on carnivore dr jordan peterson claims the same thing on joe rogan he stopped snoring in the first week a lot of people think that's because of inflammation inflammation goes away very quickly on carnivore and that is a huge game changer uh, for a lot of people, a lot of people have inflammation. They have brain fog inflammation. They have aches in their elbows that they think is some um, accident they had when they were younger. That's just inflammation. Their lower back constantly hurts. They think, oh, I injured myself when I was in high school. I'm always going to have that. No, that's just inflammation. That goes away real quick. The, the gout that I had in my foot, that took about 70 days before that went away. It's gone forever. And I had that for 18 months. Alyssa. Do you remember when we went to Ikea and Walmart and I'd ride around in a mobility scooter because my foot yeah, was so bad? Yeah, yeah. It's kind of fun, but... Someone said I stopped snoring the second night. Second night. There you go. That's very good. See how fast it happens for some people? Oh my goodness. It's, they're, saying, they're saying the bug is our new friend. <laughs> what is the bug's name? Okay, what are the Yeah, guys, do we should do bug names, but also questions. What was the best thing about the meetup? It was humbling. A family came in from te it, it, I was like, you guys should just, you shouldn't have done that. A family came in from Texas. And I'm like, you came all the way from Texas for this. It was so humbling and so many people. One of the best and most unexpected things was I just looked around and I'm like, this is awesome. There's so many great people, carnivores, not just because they're carnivore, because they're proper humans, because they're brave, because they decided to become the, their own coach. I'm gonna be the captain of my own ship. I'm gonna take control of my life forever. And we had a whole room of people like that. Lots of people too that were from right down the road. I had people that said, they're from Oxford, they're from Princeton, they're from like right down the road from me. And they're carnivores just like me, a whole theater full of them. That was the most awesome part. The people, the individuals, for sure, 100%. Can I get rid of acid uh, wait, reflux? Wait, I gotta, I gotta add to that. Dr. Hampton was also the most awesome part of it because he's just incredible. And I, I oh, listen, you didn't see this yet. I edited this together this morning. You guys, sneak peek, this is coming soon. We did a thing for Dr. Hampton when he came on. I said, welcome. 
Dr. Hampton, everyone in the audience stood up and started clapping. Were you there for that or were you? I had to go home and do oh, the dog kennel. Oh, she had kennel. to go home and do the dog kennel. She didn't even see that. Some of you might have seen it, but you didn't see the camera angles and the shots that I got or Dr. Hampton's reaction. I zoomed in on his reaction and he he was lost for words for a minute. He was like, oh. like he, <laughs> he froze up for a second. He was very touched by that. And it was so, uh, it was so deserved, so well deserved. That guy is absolutely incredible. I think someone said that they got gout, fr gout from doing carnivore, and now they're no. saying, what about gout problems? No, that is false. That is one of the biggest misconceptions that you get gout from eating meat. Uh, you Go watch Dr. Barry's video on it. There's been a ton of videos on it. It's inflammation. It's inflammation. I've eaten nothing but meat for 358 days as of right now, and my gout went away, and I have no gout. Explain that to me. People think, oh, I eat a standard American diet and just a little too much meat and it gives me gout. No, it's the standard American diet and the inflammation that's giving you the gout. Someone said they want to name the bug Stinky McStinky Pants. Like Fatty McButter Fatty Pants. That's a good one. People uh, said, I always get gout pain in the first week. Read out loud. Oil up. I'll be there in five. What? I don't know what that means. Yeah, me either. Stinky McStinky that. Pants. We'll name him that. Has people heard stomach ulcer from carnivore? Ulcer? U L C E R. Yeah, I don't have any ulcers. I had IBS before this. I was diagnosed with IBS. I was diagnosed with all sorts of stomach issues. I had um, silent acid reflux. I had an endoscopy done down my throat, and my whole esophagus was inflamed, and it was precancerous. It was so bad that they wanted me to come in at a more regular interval to get more endoscopies done. Um, I had all sorts of stomach issues. I have none now. My stomach feels great. My stomach was always gurgling and bubbling. I used to fart five million times a day. People keep talking about your posture. Yeah, I know, I'm like this. I it's, think, it, I, I, I think that- He said, everyone's saying it's because you've done that for years. You can't just fix it that easily. I have to work on it. Seriously though, I think it's something with the weight loss. Ever since I lost, because my belly used to hold me up more. <laughs> Seriously, my belly was right here. It would like it would hold me up more, and now there's nothing there, so I was just like this. My arthritis, my it. arthritis is going away in ten days. Being on the carnivore diet. You know what arthritis is? Alyssa, you're way too close, aren't you? No, you can. It's, I feel like it's not that close. If it has itis in it, Alyssa, you're gonna learn right now. If it has itis in it, arthritis, colitis, appendicitis, it's inflammation, and carnivore gets rid of. Inflammation. That was bothering me up there. <laughs> what other questions do they have? Um, question. Carnivore has helped me quit smoking for some welcome strange reason. Two packs a week to zero in one month. Awesome. Congratulations. And yes, I really think there's something to that. There is something to that. I have no addictions. Prior to this, I was addicted to diet soda. I like to gamble every now and then. Uh, everything idea. I would do, I would get... I get addicted to it. I have no addictions. I was talking to my good buddy, Todd Bachness, the carnivore cure. He was addicted to chewing tobacco. Done. It's gone. There's, it's something in the brain or something. When you're eating a proper human diet, that addiction goes away when your brain gets right. That addiction is probably some sort of coping mechanism for the inflammation you have in your brain. Someone's asking about, oh, do not forget about depression and anxiety. Oh, I will not forget about depression and anxiety. That's the main reason I'm doing the documentary, Healing Humanity, is because of depression and anxiety. I was horribly depressed. In fact, I'm doing a live stream on Wednesday with my buddy Alex Cannon, and um, he wanted to do a deep dive into depression and anxiety. And I recently got a hold of my medical records. You know how you have your medical records online? Ours is called My Chart. I finally found the login. It's, it's kind of unfortunate because... That's just from like one group of hospitals. When we used to live at our old house in Beloit, I had a whole different system, whole other med medical records. But long story short, I got into my medical records. I started looking and I was like, man, I knew I was a mess until I looked in those medical records and it refreshed my memory how messed up I was. Every couple months, it was like seeing a doctor for major depressive disorder, anxiety, changing medication for major depressive disorder over and over and over again. So I have the whole timeline of it now. But on Wednesday, I'm talking to Alex about that. Alex was saying, you're so upbeat and cheery and inspirational now. I just can't believe you were ever depressed. Alyssa, do you remember me ever being depressed? 
I remember you always eating sandwiches and sitting in the living room. And your chub would stick out. <laughs> Yeah. And now you have literally none. Literally none. Oh, someone said. Sorry, the posture's so bad. Someone said, "Have you tried to go on Joe Rogan and tell him, like the podcast, and tell him about carnivore?" That it would be a dream come true to go on Joe Rogan. We're going to be down in KetoCon filming for the documentary in Austin, and we're going to Joe Rogan's comedy club. And I'm, I don't know if I could say friends. I don't think I'm. I, I would love to say that acquaintances. I've done several videos with Dr. Baker. Dr. Baker is friends with Joe Rogan. He just went on this for the second time. We're going to the comedy club with uh, that Joe Rogan owns, and we're hoping to maybe run into him there, and we're hoping to maybe invite Dr. Baker too, which would be incredible. So, try it, try dead hanging to fix posture. That's actually I, I, I really have good. been doing that. I have been doing that. Um, in fact, I just did a video yesterday where I was doing that. I do pull ups and then I I hang there for as long as I could. I also have this thing that goes around my chest and it pulls my shoulder. Yeah, Emma commented. She said it's yeah. called your bra. My man bra. I haven't been wearing that, though. I got to wear that. This guy keeps commenting to you like pizza. He commented like 400 times. I don't, I don't, on Carnivore, I don't like pizza. Prior to Carnivore, I did. In fact, there's a place right down the road from here. We used to drive an hour out here. Uh, it was Mod Pizza. Remember that, Alyssa? Yeah, I remember. I told Emma that. We went there before, like yeah. all the time. We used to go there all the time. I was hooked on it. I was hooked on the carbs and the crap and the garbage. Someone said that is a man bra, not a bra. A bra, a ma bra. This guy is annoying about pizza. Now he's saying to you like, no, 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 not that guy, not that guy. Can't cake diet Pepsi. Is it okay to have one or two diet Pepsi a day? If, if all you're having is diet Pepsi and you've knocked out all of the other garbage from the standard American diet, that's a good baby step. I would start there and then work towards it. But you saying you can't give up diet Pepsi is not true. You can. But if, if you're going to do everything all at once and then it's a big failure and that Diet Pepsi is your little crutch to get you through it, then keep doing the Diet Pepsi for a little while, but wean off it. I'll tell you what, one of the most amazing things eating a proper human diet is having no addictions whatsoever. I have no addictions. There's still some people that are addicted to coffee or diet soda or whatever. But you will get to a point where something goes off in your head and you're like, my entire life I ate for entertainment and amusement. You're having a Diet Pepsi right now for entertainment amusement and addiction to caffeine. Once you get rid of that, it is a powerful thing to have no more addictions ever again. Carbonated water is good too. Um, someone said, where do you source all your meat? We try to get most of our meat regeneratively raised from our neighbors. We went to the Montello meetup. We brought, it was the coolest thing. Alyssa, you weren't there because you were at the dog kennel. After our Montello meetup, we had a caravan of, I don't know, like 20 cars go to my neighbor's house where I get my meat from. That was really cool because they're the they're the coolest people, uh, Aaron and Vicky. They run their own farm and they're the hardest workers I know. And they're underappreciated and they're underpaid and they're feeding our children proper natural foods. We need to support and raise their voices up. We we had a caravan of twenty cars go over to their house. I try to get most of my meat there. However, as you just saw, if you were watching earlier, I got a lot of meat from Costco because they are out. They're out of meat right now, which is a good and a bad thing, I guess. Someone said see, we did a YouTube video about their meat. You guys can watch it. It was a really fun video. We learned so much. He's so passionate about it. They sold out. And now they're advertising on the Montello big screen. They'll get a cow and all of a sudden they get the cow, they get all the steaks in while well, everyone comes and they buy all the steaks up and then there's just a little bit of ground beef left and some roasts and stuff like that. So, uh, but they got it. They got more. They just, he said they were just processing one. So I think next weekend they'll have some more in there. Yeah. We're at Target and somebody asked, um, they said, how do you get more fat in fat oh. in the diet? That's the best. That's the question. You win the bug over there. Is the bug still there? They can eat the bug. I think. Oh, we'll send you the window. bug. You just won the bug. That's the best question because that is the biggest mistake people make on carnivore. Alyssa, are you paying attention to that? What? Yeah, I'm paying attention to everything you're you, saying. Fat, 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 fat. You got to get fat. Everyone repeat with me in the Everyone leave a comment right now and say fat, fat, fat. It should be called fativore. It's not carnivore. You can't eat chicken. There's a difference between low carb and keto. You have to get fat. How I get fat? Ribeyes. Fatty ribeyes, fatty pieces of meat. Another way I get fat, and I got to do this again, when we were with Maggie filming her, she would get a huge chunk of fat. She, she butchers her own, she has her own cows and stuff, but you could go to the butcher and get a whole thing of fat, ribeye fat or whatever, and then you cut it up into little chunks, and when you have your steak, you can, you can fry it up in the air fryer, you take a little piece of fat and you eat it with that. When I'm eating a less fatty cut of meat, I use butter, Kerrygold butter. If I have a strip steak or a tenderloin, Butter, steak, butter, steak, butter, steak. All about fat. You got to get more fat than you probably think. Most people that screw up on carnivore, 
it's so simple, it's because they're not getting enough fat. They're eating chicken, and they're eating lean cuts of meat, and their fat isn't enough. When you get that fat, you will feel incredible. Alyssa, you have guys, you guys have people from all over the world in the chat. We're in Europe. Yeah, everyone's saying like they're from specific places. Oh, do a, do a carnivore, it's really cool. Carnivore roll call. Where are you from? Leave it in the comments. Where are a you lot from? of people have been saying Europe, like Japanese, like whatever. <laughs> like the bug is still there. You know what I was just going to do? I was like, oh my gosh, where did I put my phone? Alyssa's I kept here. checking my phone too. I was going to show them some pictures from the thing. We got a big video coming out from the Dr. Oh, Hampton event. Someone said that um, if they want to eat chicken, they, they fry it in lard or something. Yeah, there you go. So for Beef the tallow. I get wet. What about gear. cheese? Sorry. What about cheese? A lot of carnivores eat cheese, including um, my daughters that are carnivore. I don't eat cheese because it stalls me out. And I don't eat cheese because, um, I'm not a little humble brag here, but I get so many comments on my channel. I think I've gotten 75,000 comments since I started doing car carnivore videos about carnivore. One of the most prevalent comments I get is, I stalled out on carnivore. And then I say to them, cheese question mark. And then there's always like a hundred comments like, yep, cheese stalls me out. Yep, cheese hauls, stalls me out. Cheese stalls me out. Cheese messed me up on keto. I would lose weight and then I'm like, I'm plateauing. And it was always just because of cheese. It's so simple. So I have had no cheese in one year on carnivore and I'm just fine with it. Again, I don't eat for entertainment. So why do I have to eat cheese? If I eat meat, fatty ribeye and I'm full and I got all the nutrients, vitamins, minerals, everything I need to thrive. Why do I need cheese or Diet Pepsi or anything else? That's just good enough for me. Yeah. It's, it's hard for people to understand, but when you get to that point that it switches from entertainment to just eating, I don't worry about cheese or anything else. I just eat steak and I, I feel great. Hey, y'all, Northeast. I gotta keep adjusting my posture. Northeast Texas here, eight months carnivore. I'm glad for you. Down 100 pounds and thriving wow. here in England. 10 bowling balls, down 100 pounds. Congratulations. Wow. I am abstaining from cheese too because I'm trying to lose weight, so I have that as a treat. With cheese, I just stick it to hard cheeses like Parmesan or maybe goat cheese. That's the good thing to do, yep. Hard cheeses. Chicken that are in open all day and only eat corn are fine. I used, I used fried cheese when I wanted crunch to get away from chips. Oh yeah, that's actually very smart. Yeah, when I wanted to get away from chips, I ate bacon. Bacon's a good one too. Uh, we're, Emma, Alyssa, you gotta get on this plan too. We wanna get a bunch more chickens. How many chickens do we have now? A lot of them keep dying. How many we got? I think like 10. We have about 10 chickens right now, but they lay egg. We're, we're so foolish. Why are we so foolish, Alyssa? I eat pork rinds instead of chips. That's very smart. Our chickens free range, which is awesome, but then they free range the eggs and it's an Easter egg hunt every time we need eggs. We also have Airbnb guests that take the chicken eggs when they lay them where they're supposed to, but um, we're gonna get a new flock of chicken dedicated natural chicken that'll eat mice and insects and proper things that chickens are supposed to eat so we get the nice cleanest eggs we can possibly get so stay tuned for that a lot of people have been asking for more uh homesteading videos there you go that's a homesteading and carnivore video when we we get some more chickens should we go do that now carrie get more chickens yeah you gotta take care carrie of do you have any coffee or tea he doesn't have any he doesn't think it's good no. Well, he, well I, you I never drank coffee, right? I never drank coffee. I'm not judging anyone. Some people do carnivore coffee just fine. Question: Carnivore for 21 days now. If you, and if you do car, if you do carnivore with Sorry. coffee and you have bad diarrhea, it's probably because of the coffee, though. That affects some people. It's kind of a diuretic. But I know a lot of carnivores that do coffee. I'm not judging anyone. I just I never drank coffee. My addiction was diet soda, which was more pathetic than coffee. I would have a little diet Mountain Dew from Quick Trip. Remember that, Alyssa? Every and then day. I went to this, and then I went to this. I'd have that, and like, oh, it's noon. I'd have a Diet Mountain Dew, and then a couple hours later in the afternoon, I'd go back to Quick Trip, and I'd get another Diet Mountain Dew. I was totally addicted to it. Someone said, "Question: Carnivore for 21 days, and now feeling great, except for the squirts. When I when I eat eggs, love eggs. How long do they last, and how to get them st to stop? The squirts? Yeah. <laughs> the squirts are different for everyone. Some people it can take a couple weeks." Um, sometimes if you get that, it's from having too much fat, which is rare because a lot of people don't get enough fat. So you got to watch that. Maybe you're getting too much fat. Some people have adverse reactions to eggs. So maybe stop the eggs for a while. My advice for people is if you have any problems on carnivore, switch to lion diet for three days. Oh, people hey, JT. Hi, JT. JT's in. Everyone's JT, saying hi. JT, shout out JT, my good buddy. JT's incredible. This whole thing he arranged this weekend was nuts. 50 free kids at Montello Theater was a huge success. We sold out. That was crazy. 
But yeah, if you if you're failing on carnivore, you got the squirts, or you're, you're <laughs> stalling out, or anything's going wrong, make sure you're getting enough fat. Make sure you're drinking enough water. Uh, but try switching to lion diet for three days if you're stalling out or got the squirts or got any issues whatsoever because then you can tell if it's something that you're eating. And if you're doing carnivore, it's not that hard to go from carnivore to just beef, salt, and water. I've been doing it for 12 days now. I feel incredible. I feel so much better than even when I was on carnivore. It's crazy. Someone, everyone keeps, this person keeps asking, do you like salad? I hate salad. Salad is crunchy water with glyphosate in it. That's what Dr. Barry taught me and he's absolutely right. What's the lion Don't diet? Don't get me started on salad. Salad's an absolute <laughs> joke. I shouldn't even rant about salad. Yeah, don't. The you last thing stop. I'll say about salad is you eat a whole bowl of salad, you get 14 calories out of it. It probably takes 500 calories for just your stomach to process that lettuce. It's a complete and utter waste of time. And then you're ingesting pesticides and glyphosate and garbage all for nothing. Salad's a joke and I hate it. Next question. Bye. This person said they, they're glad we didn't eat the bug. <laughs> yeah, the bug's still there. We're yeah, taking the, him home the with bug's us. still there. He's Alyssa's, not going to leave. It's Alyssa's new pet. We're going to get him a leash. <laughs> a little tiny string. So do you believe the earth is flat? No. Next question. Do a video where you make a powerball with ostrich egg. Oh, Ooh, yeah, that, that, would, that would be, be cool. Yeah. Where would I get an ostrich egg from? I don't know. <laughs> There's actually an ostrich farm somewhere here in Wisconsin. I'll have to check that out. That would be a fun video. Ooh, so I've been doing carnivore for three weeks now, and about four days ago, I started having... Heart palpitations. Any idea why? I don't know if I said that right. Heart palpitations. Um, I've heard Dr. Chafee talk about this and I'm pretty sure he said that's normal. But of course, if you're concerned about anything, you should always check with your doctor and see and make sure everything's going okay. Um, I would also check and make sure you're uh, getting proper electrolytes because that might cause something like that. Uh, I would Google Dr. Chafee heart palpitations. I'm pretty sure he did a whole video on it that was very informative that could answer it way better than me because, of course, I'm not a doctor. I'm just telling you my own personal experience what I did on carnivore, so. Um, I watched late. Did you shop yet? Yes, we did. Yeah, rewind if you want to watch it. We went through, Alyssa took us all the way through Costco, entering all the way to uh, exiting. Does your dad miss funnel cakes and real lemonade? No and no. Carrie, when will you get your blood done? The thought of get, eating a funnel cake makes me want to gag a little bit. I would, I would probably have a seizure and die if I ate a funnel cake. Do you? I think everyone. I think this person's asking. Um, do you miss like food, like other food? Not at all. I do not at all. Oh, someone said that the the heart palpitations are because you're not getting left enough electrolytes. That's what I said. Yeah, that's what everyone's saying. Get some electrolytes. I, we got Keto Mojo or Elements, another good one. I like the Keto Mojo because they're just drops. I put them in the water every now and then. Whenever I do fasting or if I'm doing some hard exercise, I'll take some more of that Keto Mojo. If you ever get like a little bit of fatigue or feel weird at all, you can take a little bit of that. Do you still use all your ash from your fire? We didn't have a fire this year. I was too busy working on the Healing Humanity documentary. I decided not to turn the outdoor fire on. Uh, did JTS that? No, oh. no, some, wait, I, no, no, Martin Pharaoh. Yeah, so we didn't have a lot of ash this year. What belt size does your dad wear? 32. So how much did you go down? 31, actually, but mom told me there's no 31. I was at, like, 44 at one time, so I'm down, like, 12 or something. I, sh I have a picture. I showed it where my belt was, like, out to here. It was actually in this Target. I was in this <laughs> Target a couple months ago. I think that was before we went to film Bill. Uh, I had to get some nice pants because I was going to be in the documentary. And I, I had a little picture, it's on that phone. My before and after with my belt. You could, like, the belt was out to like, out to like here. Um, I'm stuck right at there though, whatever that is, 31, 32. I'm stuck there now, I think that's my permanent weight. But I still do have uh, loose skin. You guys wanna see? No, no that's weird. Okay. Someone said, uh, do you have any cheat meals? No, I've, I'm, I'm almost one year on carnivore. I haven't had one cheat meal. I haven't had a granule of sugar. I haven't had any fruit. I haven't had a single berry. I've had nothing unnatural in one year. I haven't had any soda, no diet soda, nothing. And I'm not saying I'm perfect and I'm not judging anyone that has had cheat meals because I did the ketogenic diet for over 10 years and I cheated 10,000 times. I used you to had a piece of gum. Weekend. I had one piece of gum, that is true. JT said, I found Kerry from his fire ash video, LOL. Yeah, that's how I found him. Yeah, that's right. Oh, what kind of salt do you use? You should tell them about the two ones. 
Redmond's Fine Salt is the, is the go-to that I've used the majority of the time on the proper human diet, but recently my buddy Adam got me the Malden Sea Salt. That's what uh, Dr. Baker uses as well. It comes in this little container and you sprinkle it on. It's really flaky. I love it. I absolutely love it. I don't, however, know if I want to recommend it fully. I don't know if it's as clean as the um, Redmond's Fine Salt. Redmond's Fine Salt is really clean. I don't know if that if this stuff is, but I do know that this sea salt, this Malden stuff, I like tastes incredible. It gives a really good texture. What about those carnivore bars? Do you ever eat those? Carnivore bars. Oh yeah, I've seen them. Oh yeah, I yeah. Got, a company sent me some of those to try, and Adam and I had some of those when we went by Maggie. Somewhat. Oh well, well, remember when we we did keto, and then we went to the family meeting, and we had the keto bars, and we had absolute diarrhea after that. That was bad. The keto bars are not very good if you're doing keto. Keto bars. It was just like chocolate and nuts. Oh it yeah, was the terrible. Stuff? Yeah, it was. This just, was before was carnivore. So She's talking about before carnivore. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, those keto products like Atkins. Uh, they would have, they'd have like candy bars and all this garbage. It says, it says it's keto, Atkins approved, whatever. It's pure garbage. It's, it's filled with sugar alcohols that give you diarrhea and they mess your stomachs up, gurgling and bubbling and hurting, and it gives you full of inflammation because there's seed oils in it, so you get it all inflamed. It's not keto. I hate those things. It makes me so mad because people, I feel for people that are doing keto and they're struggling and they're trying so hard to lose their weight and then they see something like that and they think it's okay and then they screw up their whole diet. Someone said, how do you feel about becoming famous? And then someone also asked, um, are avocados okay to eat? Oh. <laughs> I think- I, I don't, well, I feel, I'm not famous. I don't like that. That's really weird. It was really weird at the Healing Humanity meetup, everyone coming up to say hi to me. It was very humbling. I love when I get comments from people that say that I inspired them and now they've lost a whole bunch of weight or they're no longer depressed or anxious. And frankly, I'm addicted to doing that. I don't think there's any greater thing in the world than to be able to be a small part and help someone that way. So um, that's pretty awesome. Are avocados okay? I don't know. I don't know. Not for me. I haven't had any. Yeah, someone asked about pickles too because there are no carbs. Pickles, avocados, fruit, vegetables. The problem is 99% of the stuff you get from the grocery store has chemicals, glyphosate, pesticides, toxins in it. Now they're putting... They're putting stuff over avocados and over apples, this appeal thing so that it doesn't oxidize and it lasts longer. And everyone's just like, oh no, just trust us, it's fine. How many times have you guys been told, oh, just trust us, it's fine? This is usually not fine. So if you can have a real natural avocado that you grew yourself in, a, in some nice, rich, nutrient-dense soil and there wasn't any chemicals or toxins or anything in it, then it's probably okay for you. But I don't know, that's pretty hard to find these days, unfortunately. Hopefully we could change that. So for me, I just eat the meat. Somebody asked such a weird question. The girl is recording this question. How will your dad react when you say someday I, I am pregnant? Oh, that's a little weird question, so we're moving on. People will want your autograph soon. Also, Dr. Sean does carnivore with ferments. Ferments? Fermented stuff? I think so. Dr. Baker does that? Dr. Sean Omara. Oh, something. Omara, yeah. Yeah, I know some people, I think my buddy Jeff does some fermented stuff. I guess that could be good for your gut if you need it, probiotic, sauerkraut or kimchi. I always, I'm always so careful because people are like, what are you doing? And then if I say it, they always feel like They're I'm obligated. judging them or telling them what to do. I'm just telling you what I'm doing. You guys can do whatever you want. I'll just tell you that I'm always just going to tell you the truth. Uh, a lot of people are like experimenting with different things and for me my truth is I don't feel the need to experiment with anything because I get everything I need from meat so why why monkey around with it I was in such a dark place suffering for so long why would I monkey around and try to do that again I, I get, I've given this before but if I was a horrible alcoholic my whole life and I was sitting depressed on my couch as a drunk for 10 15 20 years getting deeper and deeper drunker and drunker feeling worse and worse and then I quit that alcohol and I felt incredible and I changed my life forever. Why would I go back and be like, maybe if I just had this type of alcohol watered down that's from Japan, maybe that'll be okay then. I just, I don't even want to tinker with that. I feel absolutely incredible doing what I'm doing. So I don't feel the need to add avocado or diet Pepsi or kimchi or any of those things, but maybe that's fine for other people. And I'm just a crazy um, abstainer. I can, I can't, I can't handle anything, but a lot of people want to know about your blood work and if it's changed in the last six months. I had blood work done around six months and it looked incredible. 
The only thing that was off was my sodium, which is crazy. It said I needed more sodium, which if any of you watch my channel, you'll think, how is that even possible? Jen was, her, her jaw dropped. I put so much Redmond salt on my steaks. Like people, people comment all the time, what are you doing with all that salt? And it said I was deficient and I was low in sodium. I'm going back in, I don't know when, but hopefully soon, I'm trying to arrange it to get my heart ejection fraction tested because I feel like I was diagnosed with congestive heart failure five years ago. I have a low ejection fraction. I have congestive heart failure. I was, the symptoms of that was constant fatigue. Every time I'd stand up, I'd get dizzy. I was always tired. I was always fatigued. I don't have any of that anymore. So I feel like my congestive heart failure has reversed. I have it in my medical records, the diagnosis. So I want to go back in and get that checked out again because then I'll have it in my medical records afterwards. That'd be interesting for the documentary uh, as well. So more to come soon. The reason for the delays on that, for those new to the channel, I had it scheduled to happen at the end of last year. It would have been covered under my insurance with my huge deductible because we're privately insured. And I went into the doctor's office. I drove all the way there, like 40 minutes away. I got there and they said, no, we tried to reschedule you. We called you. Didn't you get our message? You got to come back in in January. Well, January is a new year and it would cost me something like probably $7,000 out of pocket. Like whatever the cost for getting my heart echocardiogram done, I basically got to pay for it out of my pocket. So that was why uh, that was why the big delay. And Jen's trying to work some stuff up with her insurance and see where I can get in and see if I can get in for just that and the blood work. Every time I want to do something, they're like, no, first you got to see your primary doctor, then they got to refer you, then they got to refer you. And by that time, I'm like $10,000 worth of medical bills. For those of you coming from Europe, it's very expensive here. Very expensive here for medical stuff. Why is it very expensive, Alyssa? Do you know why? No. Because the system is broke. Because everyone goes in for medical problems and the root cause of those medical problems are almost entirely and always nutrition, but the doctors throw medicine at them so the people continue to be sick, just like myself, and then they get more pills for depression, anxiety, then they, then they, they can't sleep at night, then they get pills for sleep, then their stomach starts to hurt because they got IBS because they're eating the wrong food, then they give them pills for IBS, and they never fix the root cause of the problem. It makes healthcare very, very expensive. And that's what we have here in the United States, a very expensive, broken system where people don't get fixed because nobody's addressing the root cause of the problem. Someone said you look very young. And then Mike and Butter, the guy keeps asking questions. He said, ask your dad what his A1C is. Do you know what that is? Yes, I don't, I don't know what my A1C is currently, but I'm gonna be getting that tested when I get all my blood work done. So I'm gonna do a full update. Good, bad, whatever. If it's horrible, I'm telling you guys everything. My A1C, all my blood work, my cholesterol numbers, um, the heart ejection fraction, we'll, we'll share all of that with you, good or bad. That's one thing, if you're watching my channel, you can rest assured of. You are gonna get nothing but the truth from me, nothing biased like these stupid documentaries they have on Netflix that are sponsored by meat companies. It's uh, unbiased truth, and that's, that's all I'm gonna share with you. So we should probably wrap it up there. What do you think, Alyssa? Yeah, probably. How many people are on right now? 629. 625 people? You guys are crazy. 29. Listen, if you guys want to learn more about our documentary, please visit donate.healinghumanity.movie. You can donate to support the documentary. This is entirely crowdfunded, which I'm very proud of. We've raised $117,000 on GoFundMe, which is so humbling and so incredible. I'm so thankful. I haven't taken a penny of that money. All of the money for those groceries, for example, that's my own money for my own business, for my own job. Every penny from that goes to the Carnivore Diet documentary, Healing Humanity. Uh, we used it to go film Dr. Ken Berry to travel for our camera equipment. But the thing is, it is incredibly expensive to film a documentary that we're going to get on the big screen. Incredibly expensive. So the $117,000 is amazing. You got to pay taxes on it. You got all these expenses. It goes really quickly. So if you're interested in supporting the documentary, you can also become a member. Last thing I'm going to say, we're doing so much more member stuff. Every Thursday, we do a members only live stream. We were down filming Dr. Ken Berry. I did two members only videos. If you're a member, you can email me directly. I will answer you. If you comment on the videos, I answer members first. It's like three bucks a month to become a member on the lowest. Below all of the videos, you got to usually do it on desktop. There's a little join button. I encourage you to go join. Every penny from memberships goes to support the documentary. Super chats that we got today, go to the documentary. And if you go to GoFundMe, that's the biggest bang for your buck. Also, if you buy our shirts, we have Healing Humanity shirts. We have Compassion Carnivore shirts. Uh, any, any purchases for those goes 100% towards the documentary. So uh, thank you guys so much for watching. Alyssa wants to say goodbye to the bug right now. He's still there with us. We're going to take him home with us. So.
Last question. Last question. We'll end it. Thank you. Have you ever interviewed Jordan Peterson or his daughter about the carnivore diet for the documentary? Great questions today, guys. Thank you so much. You all deserve a ribeye. I have not, but I'm trying to, and I would love to. And uh, my buddy Adam actually had a comment from Michaela Peterson. And so we've reached out to them and we're trying and I'm hopeful. Fingers crossed. That would be incredible, especially on the mental health front, which is what the documentary is about, to have Dr. Jordan Peterson comment on it. Dr. Peterson had Chris Palmer, who wrote Brain Energy, on his podcast, I don't know, a month or two ago. It was an incredible interview, so would love to do that. So we'll end it there. Thank you guys so much. Really appreciate it. Dr. Berryfinger, have a good day. Peace.